All right, Andy, in this module, we're going to talk about Cortana. Cortana. Um, where does Cortana get her name? That's a good question. Cortana was a character in the Microsoft video game Halo. Mm. And in the game, she's a little virtual assistant that helps to explain things and helps the hero complete their mission. Uh -huh. In Windows 10, Cortana is a little virtual assistant that helps to explain things and helps you complete your mission. I see. Namely, getting done whatever you need to get done. Okay. So let's take a look. Now, we talked about Cortana being this gray box at the bottom, mm -hmm. anything down here. One way to use Cortana is just to click in here, and we can type something. So we used this before when we wanted to find the calculator, remember? Right. Sure. So we can type in calculator. Notice that... It starts off finding apps on this computer, then it finds apps for sale in the store, and then it suggests things that we could search for on the web. So if I click on this, mm -hmm. it opens an internet browser and looks for calculator. I see. Not so helpful here, but if I was doing research on something, it's, it's kind of convenient. Here's a calculator. And there's an online calculator. Mm -hmm. Now, if I just click on Cortana, you notice I get a few things. I get kind of my local forecast, um, I'll get some top news of the day. If I scroll down, I'll get some other information. I get some options of what I can do with Cortana. So the big thing about Cortana is its voice... Uh, Activated. Recognition. Listen to, talk to. Right, those things. Yeah. So there's two ways you can use the voice activation. Okay. So Cortana can listen to what you say. Yes. By default, she only listens when you click on this microphone icon. But an easy setting is to turn it on so she listens all the time. And that's what I have mine set to. So if I want to open the calculator, and I'm too lazy to click over here on the start menu and go through all those settings, I can say, hey Cortana, open the calculator. All right, opening calculator. Nice. And there's my calculator. But she can do a lot more. Mm -hmm. For example, hey Cortana, set an appointment with Andy for 2 p.m. tomorrow. Okay, I can add appointment with Andy to your calendar for tomorrow at 2 p.m. Sound good? Yes. Great. So just like that, I've made an appointment for my calendar for you and I to meet tomorrow at 2. So there's a lot of things you can ask Cortana for. If it's anything related to a Windows setting, there's a good chance she knows what to do. You can even do things like, hey, Cortana, tell me a joke. Two goldfish are in a tank. One turns to the other and says, do you know how to drive this thing? See? Great joke. That's, that's, that's hilarious. It's Okay, it's not the funniest joke. No, it's good. It's, it's, she's, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it's, it's fine. Hey, for a computer, it's a good joke. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt her feelings or anything. You can do things like, uh, hey, Cortana, what's the weather today? The forecast shows partly sunny skies with a high of 94 and a low of 74. So the interesting thing about Cortana is we've had this before with our phones. We've had Siri on the um, iPhone. We've had uh, Google Now on the mm -hmm. Google phones. Mm -hmm. But now we have it on our PC, and there's a lot of interesting things we can do with it. So Cortana is built into all the Windows apps. It's built throughout Windows 10. It's not just the voice recognition. It's also the ability to search. Mm -hmm. So we don't need to hunt for things. We don't need to hunt for a settings. If we're not sure how to turn on Wi-Fi, for example, we could just type in Wi-Fi. And you can see it's, it's giving us an app we can buy from the store. It's also giving us the ability to identify and repair network problems from our control panel. So it's a good way to find things we need on our computer mm -hmm. all through Cortana. Cortana also works inside the new internet browser. We're going to look at that in another module. Okay. There are a few settings you need mm -hmm. to know about with Cortana. So mm -hmm. if we click on Cortana, you can see I've got some icons on the left-hand side here. Mm -hmm. This top one just brings us to the menu. Let's just see what we're seeing. The second one is the notebook, which I'm not sure why, but settings is under notebook. So we can see tips and tricks. We, we can see, you know, if we want to find a restaurant nearby, if we want to find events, if we want to find finance, we can do that. Here's my settings. So I'll click on settings. I can choose whether Cortana is giving me suggestions or not. I can choose whether she'll respond to, hey, Cortana. If I turn this on, then she's always listening. Mm. Some people are concerned about the security implications of her always listening. I don't think it's a problem. I leave it turned on. You can also choose whether she's going to respond to anybody or just to you. Oh. So I've got her set to respond to anybody. And then there's also uh, choices for if she can find flights, if she can find stuff on your taskbar and things like that. So since I have her set to respond to anybody, why don't you try asking her something? Okay. Hey, Cortana, tell me a joke. 
What did the zero say to the eight? Nice belt.